a player compared to where you were a year ago this time? Uh, getting better. Uh, definitely getting better. But definitely, I feel like I came a long way uh, from where I was at this point last year. But getting better. Where do you think you made your, your biggest improvements from your rookie season to now? Are you talking about a specific area? wide receiver in the NFL? I would say just understanding. Um, I think I came in here uh, last year and just played a lot off of um, natural ability and uh, talent, but not full understanding of what was going on um, in the offense or on defense. So I think um, that's where the biggest improvement came from. Uh, Kyle Shanahan just talked about he, he felt that uh, his 11 <coughs> play was your best route that you ever run right before the half. Can you kind of take us through that and what you were seeing as that play developed? Yeah, that was a play um, that it's one of our, it's, a, it's a play that we run a lot in this offense. Um, just an in breaking route, six step in breaking route, um, and I had a guy outside of me, outside a little bit outside of me, outside leverage, um, and just creating creating more space from when I broke in to get away from the linebacker that was in the middle of the field. So um, gives Jimmy an opportunity to fit that ball in there, and he threw a great ball. Does that come from just like getting reps and being able to sort of identify coverage right off the bat? Definitely, definitely reps. Um, I've had that play a couple times, um, a couple times last year, a couple times this year where I ran it differently and it didn't end up the way that we wanted it to. So just getting just getting reps and feeling it out and having stuff go wrong sometimes is the best thing to happen um, because you're when stuff goes wrong, you kind of learn from it. It sticks a lot better that way. So uh, I've had that rep before. So. Um, it was awesome to get that rep again and, and do it the right way. Does your role change at all with Debo out, or do you think that you'll get more attention because he is out? I'm not sure uh, what their plan is, on uh, the Seahawks' plan is on defense. But I just look at it the same way, just keep preparing the same way I have been and um, just maximize every opportunity that I do get. Is there an element of leadership that maybe you have to pick up with, with Debo not being there and, and Mo too for the last few weeks being out? I think yeah, with Mo, Mo's, Mo's definitely um, Andy, but Mo's uh, that the veteran leader that we had. He's always talking to us um, on the sideline through plays. Debo, um, Debo leads by the way that he plays. Um, so I think the whole room kind of uh, sees that as we got to pick each other up. We all got to be um, with each other. We all got to uh, lead each other and just go out there and keep playing the football we have been playing. Any envy on your part of seeing Debo line up in the backfield and running those those uh, running back types of plays? Is that something that you would ever want to do? Definitely not. No, and definitely not. Debo's a, a special football player. Um, not a lot of people can go out there and play running back, uh, take handoffs, and do what he does. I joke with him all the time. I just I tell him I say you don't have to break every single run for an explosive. Like, you don't have to have you don't have to have eight for ninety. But yeah, he, he's I, I'm I'm cool off getting handoffs. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. A few weeks been just the, the volume of running plays that you guys have had to execute. Uh, I mean, it's been a lot of fun, actually. When you could get your uh, impose your will and your opponent, it's always fun for O line. How tiring are those? You know, fifteen, eighteen, twenty play drives. You know, I'm. I mean, personally, I really don't really think about it. Like, I kind of feel like when we're out there, we're just you know, doing our best to have a successful play, and you know, uh, next thing you know, we're coming in the sidelines. We're like, hey, that was that was 20 plays, that was 18 plays, and you know, really don't realize until we're on the sidelines. But that's kind of how it is. Are running plays in that volume easier on your body and uh, than a, and say pass protecting that many times just because you're firing out, or is it rough either way? <laughs> I mean, you know. Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't see anything easy about it at all. I mean, um, but I, I do know that our guys take a lot of pride in that, So, and we work really hard at it. There's sort of a weird online analytics discussion about running plays not being as efficient. What's, what's the value of just, like, being physical consistently over a sustained period of time, you know, imposing your will on a defense? Um, you know, I just know that, you know, whenever you get a chance to hold on to the ball for a long time, you know, you take control of the game, and um, you know we've been able to do that for the past couple of weeks. And you know, we're going to try our best to continue to do it. Yesterday, the week when you were listed as day to day, I think it was ankle or 
right? Uh, I don't think any of us actually expected you to miss the game. Obviously, you didn't. How much pride do you take in your ability to be available every single week? Um, you know, I'm, you know, obviously, you know, I take a great pot pride in taking care of my body. Um, I mean, every week, you know, not just for me, but for all of our guys, you know, um, uh, availability is the best ability. And, you know, uh, that's something that, you know, I truly cherish for myself to be available for my team. This is the second year you've been next to Trent. Did you feel um, a, a cohesion now that it was better than it was in 2020 with him? Oh, I mean, of course, you know, just that level of chemistry is taking that next step. You know, uh, it, it, it feels great, honestly, just being out, out there and, you know, just knowing what we'll do and without saying a word to each other. So that's, I think that part of the game is great. How often do you find yourself seeing Trent do something and being like, man, I wish I could do that? Or like, how, how <laughs> a does, lot, how does he do that? a lot, a lot more than you think. Um, you know, because I'm, I'm particularly a competitive guy, and, you know, especially like the weight room and stuff like that. But uh, you know, Trent, the, the things that Trent does, you know, things that he do, they're truly special, and he's a special player. Do you do you feel like, uh, I mean, guard is a position that probably gets you know the least amount of note in terms of fans just watching the position. Do you feel like you're deserving of a Pro Bowl recognition this year? I mean, I think so. I mean, um, obviously, you know, with the fans and everything, uh, you know. Um, I, we have great fan, we have great fans, and you know, uh, not hearing your name called, I think is a good thing when it comes to offensive linemen. You know, obviously not with Trent because you know he's a superstar, but um, no, no, nah, not hearing your name called uh, throughout the weeks is a great thing. And um, you know, if the fans think I deserve it, then I think I deserve it as well. I don't know how many times you've gone up against Al Woods in the past, but you know, a veteran guy who's been around a while and seems to be getting better, mm -hmm. like. He's a huge man. How, what, what kind of problems does he pose in the middle of that line? Obviously, you know, a, a big guy with a, just a lot of physical strength, um, you know, takes up a lot of space. So, um, you know, there's going to uh, obviously the game plan that we got, you know, we're going to, you know, kind of uh, force them to move. So, uh, you know, it's a challenge this week, and but we're up for it. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Hey, Faith. Click here to subscribe.